win the Brownlow. Greg Williams, how many hand passes do you have to give each week? But when Glenn Jakovic dashes out of half back, he's in a league of his own. He can't lose. Could Monkhurst go all the way? Maybe, if he didn't mouth off to the umpires. Well, if I was giving the votes, I'd give them to Modra, Main Wearing, and... And Jakovic. Jakovic? I reckon that Ben Allen will win the brown line. He's the first Dockers captain. It's a pretty big call, mate. Have you seen the haircut on Danny Southern? I hear he's a lovely boy. Well, who are the long shots? The skill and finesse. Gary Hockey. Gary Lyon. He's been an inspirational leader. How about Harry? What about him? Schwartz for those barrel chested marks. Chris Grant. Maybe catchy again. Big Sean Rin from the Crows. You guys wouldn't have a clue. But I know who does. Seven Sports presents from the Radisson President Hotel in Melbourne, the 1994 Brownlow Medal Counts. Your host, Bruce McAvaney. Good evening, Australia. For the first time, the greats, past and present, have gathered at the Radisson Hotel in Melbourne for the Brownlow Medal. Since 1924, when Kaji Grease of Geelong won the first medal, this has been Australian football's most prestigious award. Of the 76 medals that have been presented, nine men have won the award more than once. And tonight, the hot favourite, Greg Williams of Carlton, is hoping to add to his 1986 laurels. The Brownlow is the mark of a champion. It has graced the necks of some of the most brilliant ball players, like Reynolds and Skilton, and adorned the rugged features of Tony Lockett and the Dipper. But not every great champion has won the Brownlow. They haven't marked their career with it. Some names are missing, like Witten and Barassi, Jeselenko and Matthews. But that just adds to the mystique. The Brownlow medal is awarded on the votes of the umpires to the fairest and best player in the AFL home and away competition. These votes have been collected throughout the year and kept at an armour guard vault. The supervision of their removal has taken place by the AFL auditors, the international accounting firm, KPMG Pete Marwick. And those votes are here tonight and they're under the scrutiny of two of the firm's partners, Paul Shannon and Brian Jamison. So in just a few moments' time, a night of high drama will unfold. And for one player, perhaps even more than one player, it will be an unforgettable night. I wonder who's going to be taking home Charlie. So we've come to that time of year Coaches and players are gathered round here The temperature's high, the neckties are tight All the way it will take Charlie home tonight Did Diesel catch the umpire's eye? Will Jakovic rise? Is he ready to fly? Could Hocking the cat take possession? He might Will Lion or Monkers take Charlie home tonight? With a teardrop in his eye Who take the medal That money just can't buy Who be our champion Celebration's gonna start Who wear the brown low on his heart Who's gonna take the brown away Which plays won the ride A champion Take Charlie home tonight. Gunstel Buckley, Cameron O'Ran, Will Rusey or Madden come close once again? Ablett, Broderick or Swassie just might. Will Platten or Bradley take Charlie home tonight? Ooh, make a speech with a teardrop in his eye. Ooh, take the medal that money just can't buy who be our champion celebration's gonna start who wear the brown law on his heart who's gonna take the brown away which plays won the ride a champion will walk out of here take charlie home tonight who's gonna take the
honeymoon. unbelievable. day one, david's getting breakfast.